Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Doom Eternal. Today is episode number two. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy Fortress of Doom. I do not have the means to locate the second Hell Priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We're missing a component. We will need a replacement. Portal destination confirmed. Okay. You completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Ah, we gotta go over here. The flame belch. Press Y to set enemies on fire and they will drop armor shards. Kill them and they'll drop the most armor. Nice! And you kill them and they drop only armor. So that is good for getting armor back. Obtain a sentient crystal. Sentient Crystal Tutorial. This is a Sentient Crystal selection screen. Use a Sentient Crystal to permanently upgrade your health, armor, or ammo capacities. Um... I think Belch Armor Boost would be good. Oh, unlocking two linked upgrades also gives you a bonus upgrade. Ah. So you get health, ammo, and then you get the boost. So you can pick which one you want to go towards. That is interesting. That's a really good mechanic. So we're going to upgrade health first. Health, armor, and ammo upgrades are immediately applied along with any other bonus upgrades. Portal nice. Is activated and ready when you are. Portal is activated. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's amazing seeing that outside of a cutscene. That was amazing seeing that outside of a cutscene. I'm sorry. Wow. Right, let's go then. That was so cool seeing the stuff all, like, come up from the sides. That was just super cool. 99% it's stuck on. There we go, continue. Exultia. Rebuild the Celestial Locator. Hmm, okay. Here we go. What on earth was that? Oh! I see demons. I see demons in the night. Should make that a song. Here we go, we're across. Right, there's that 10 point system that they were sort of teasing before Doom Eternal came out. And I want to actually know how that properly works. What on earth is that? It's a flying creature. There's still some demons here then. Ah, secret found. Oh no, 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 no. I don't like this. There we go. Come on, let me get him. Thank you. You can swallow one of these. Oh 
Oh my gosh, just slice his head off. Oh my gosh, what on earth is that? Oh look, it's Beefy Boy! Beefy Boy's back! Set him on fire, get ourselves some armor. Nice. This has a very Rage 2 feel to it. What on earth is that? Some like gauntlet fist or something. Blood Punch. Blood Punch is a melee attack that deals extra damage. Glory killing fills the Blood Punch meter. Once, pre once charged, press right stick to unleash it. Oh! Interesting. What's that? One up. Destroyed. Cut his head off. Get rid of it. Runes enhance your abilities or enable new abilities. You have limited rune slots, so choose the runes that fit your playstyle. Perform glory kills faster. Launch into a glory kill from much further away. Gain a speed boost after performing a glory kill. Uh, survive one death blow and briefly slow down time, giving you a chance to recover. This rune recharges on death. Uh, increase how long enemies regain remain in a staggered state. Greatly increase movement control while in the air. Temporary slow down time. Uh, enemies killed by equipment or under the influence of equipment will decrease the recharge time. And enemies killed by a blood punch shockwave drop health. Um, I think perform glory kills faster would be better. Yeah. Or launch into a glory kill. Hmm. It's difficult to choose. I think maybe further away might be better. Because while you're in a glory kill, you don't seem to take as much damage. Unless that's changed from the last game. But yes, we'll take that rune first then. Uh, rune equip tutorial, so we can equip that one into the rune slot there. Normally you have to like play a rune sort of thing though, don't you? Ah, hang on. What's this? One up. Extra life. Nice, okay. That was much further away. That was useful. Uh, oh. Secret found. Oh, a toy. Little toy spider. That is pretty cool, actually. Let's get these guys. Oh, beefy boys here. Come on. Oh, sliced open. Come on. Low ammo. Jesus. Ah, 
I have high hopes for this game though. Honestly, this is going to be ho hopefully one of the best games that we play for a while. Um, I still don't know what that is in the top corner though. Now I wonder if micro missiles count. No, they don't. Did I use like three fuel then? Double stab. Cut off his leg right in the back. Oh, right in the mouth. Right in the mouth. One over here. Get rid of him. What on earth are you doing? Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Eat up. Give me that eyeball. Eat up. And give me that eyeball. Lovely. Hop. Make some really satisfying noise. I need to try and get rid of that gun off of the back of that spider. Seriously. Come on, total destruction. Let's do it. Oh, right in the eyes. Uh, weapon points. Complete all the encounters in a mission to earn weapon points. The demonic corruption meter tracks the points you've earned. Each mission has 10 weapon points in total. Spend weapon points in your arsenal tab in the dossier. Uh, weapon mod upgrade tutorial. Right, so if we click this, we can actually pick what we want to upgrade. So we can increase the reload speed or something else, or we can do full auto. Um, I think... Reload time is decreased. Um, yeah, I think we'll go for this one for the sticky bomb. Uh, okay, so we can then unlock mastery eventually. Um, I think as well, I'm gonna go micro missiles and I'm gonna get number one. Yes, low ammo, not good at all. We only got one point so far. This is going in the wrong direction. Is it? Yeah, that's the wrong direction. Where about is it was supposed to go? Ah, through that way. That makes sense. So we need to head up this way. Is that a place we can go? Totally not. That is not a place we can go. Okay. Ah, but this is a place we can go. Total obliteration. Oh, I didn't quite do it in time. Right, let's try again. Doggo, where are you? What is this dog? Okay, there we go.
Okay, and back on we go. There's something in the middle. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't quite work. There's something in the middle and I want to see what it is. Why did that not go up? Come on. Up you go. There we go. You can't get it. Oh. And now I can't get up. There we go. I was about to jump on that. Hang on, what's this? Oh, that's why we couldn't get it. Dash. Press B to quickly move while traversing or fighting. Dashing into a pitted surface instantly attaches you to it. Uh, you can dash twice before it needs to recharge. Okay, interesting. Right, whereabouts do we need to go now? This way. Nice. So it's a little bit like um, Rage 2 with the dash feature as well. their transgressions against the government, they are still of sentinel blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. It is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. Okay. Um, right, there's something here. Let's grab this. King Novik. Uh, what's about him? Ruled over Sentinel Prime for many years as warrior patriarch. Uh... Ordained protector of the sovereign sentinel worlds. Okay, interesting. There's electrical water everywhere. through the wall a little bit there. A little bit of a bug, but not a problem. The game sorted itself out. Unreal. No, 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 no. No thanks. Come on. Let's get these smaller ones quickly. Oh, 
No! Woo. Oh, let's get all that health. Oh my gosh, that was close. Woo. Uh, so I'm guessing this is the way that we got to go now. No? Activate the trans-dimensional portal. This sentinel battery can be used to provide additional power to your ship. Several modules remain unused. Finding more batteries will enable you to utilize the full functions of your command station. Oh, plasma rifle. Nice. The Revenant is a heavy aerial demon that specializes in mid-range attacks. Its shoulder cannons are weak points. Destroying them disables its long-range attacks, forcing it to be a melee combatant. Okay, interesting. Oh my gosh, the plasma rifle. There we go, it's a melee combatant. That looks so different. Oh my gosh, completely destroyed. Where on earth is that coming from? Up here. Sliced. And dice. What's this through here? Just takes you to the other side. Oh gosh, big guy. Big guy. I don't know what this guy's weak point is. Up. Thank you. Give me that. I love these little skinny, like, winged demons. They're easy to kill, but they do a lot of damage, surprisingly. Going up here? No. Ah, no, down here. Uh, there is something through here. Oh, uh, tentacles. Oh, uh, there's another one. Another tentacle. Thank you. Uh, another one. Right, map data. We like the map data. Ah! Field drone, lovely. Right, let's grab ourselves... We can either get a heat blast, which builds up excess heat that can be released as a powerful blast. Oh, energy beam. I quite like that. I like the sound of a microwave beam. We can now cook food. There is a sentinel power core nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear a path forward. Here we go.
Okay, so yeah, we can't destroy that. So we needed to go that way anyways. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to talk more about Doom Eternal and all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, make sure to join the Discord down in the description below. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.